Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of OSINT Tools. Today we're looking up into OSINT Tools regarding Telegram, an encrypted private messaging app that um, that is completely taking storm. And uh, we're particularly we're going to go to search.buzz.im to look at open Telegram messages or Telegram messages that are in public. And so first, let's explain what Telegram is. And this is a video by Science Institute. They're a huge uh, a huge company that deals with a lot of OSINT principles, and they're based out of the DMV area, and they provide a lot of certification. So please check them out because they have so many tools and this is a resource that I use heavily. Um, and so Telegram is a cloud-based messaging voice over internet protocol end-to-end -end encrypted secret chat app that is inherently has like this group feature that's it, it opposed to like Signal or Wicker or whatnot. And it's made by Russian owners of VK.com and it's HQs in Dubai with 400 million active users, this doubling in the past year. So this is very increasing and it has this international uh, kind of marketplace vibe to it. So as a result, we see uh, constantly like with drug marketplaces and credit cards, uh, dumps and other illicit activity happening right on here. And it's just basically the Google search away or search.buzz that I am search away. And in the last video, I went over uh, kind of Molly or MDMA. And so let's start off with that. Let's look up MDMA. And then off the bat, you can see there's a bunch of results that come up. And a lot of these results are in different languages. And a lot of these results have other uh, illicit substances in it as well. So you see DMT, LSD, GHB, ketamine. Um, and then you can begin to go to uh, an, like 100 or, or, and you can actually look at channels where this is present as well. Uh, these are like kind of groups or, uh, uh, yeah, basically group channels. And then you can look at authors as well. And 100 is making it take a little bit to load and whatnot. But... Yeah, so let's go. And they have the Hydra, and I think um, Hydra used to be a dark room. It probably still is. It's probably still up right now. Um, Hydra is a, a DNM, a dark marketplace. And you can start seeing uh, different languages as well. And let's put this in the Google Translator, which I have because a lot of these places are international. So you can say Euphoria Market, National MDMA Estimates. So clearly these are marketplaces for MDMA. Um, and then, so let's go to the messages, and let's start looking at people. Um, I'm going to choose this guy right here. Um, and you can just like in the Tinder video where you can look at uh, tinder.com slash a username and then start guessing usernames, you can do the same thing. And usernames can't start with numbers, they start with letters, but you can just start guessing based on other accounts. So let's put the, the uh, I didn't copy that right, control C, control V, soldier to be, and off the rip, it tries to have you open an external application. I'm not going to do any of that. I don't want the Telegram desktop application, but it exists and you have to initially sign up on mobile. Uh, but right off the bat, I can say open image on new tab, and you can see, but there are 332 members with 15 online, so this is kind of an active community. And in the actual image, you can see they have a Wicker ID, and it actually has drugs in the name. So this is clearly a Wicker account, which is another private messaging application that you don't have to give any information to. So a lot of people just make these burner accounts, and uh, not a lot of people use it. So like again, like I have this Wicker, I can maybe impersonate someone else and trick him into thinking I'm a legitimate client. So again, step your operational security up. Like I found your Wicker, I found your marketplace, all that with literally one Google in less than one minute. So if you are a drug dealer, I'm, I don't have anything against it. You know, push all the model you want, but be cognizant that you are being tracked. And I am, I'm just a kid. Like if, if this were a Fed or a rat, they would have got you and then got you. But a lot of these are international, in, 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 and they, they're kind of hiding behind uh, the laws of where they're at. And you can see um, where this kind of takes place, because uh, let's go to um, Drug CEO. And again, you can look at read more messages and, like, and look at the more information and whatnot and find additional usernames. So um, before we go to that, let's just look up Wicker, just to see like where you can find people's Wickers. And clearly, you can find a lot, a lot of people's wickers on this and again, this is something like people really hold their wicker near and dear to their hearts. So it's like you literally just got the plug off this. And so let's look up Percocet, which is Oxycontin uh, or, or Oxycodone, uh, like a brand name for that. And you can begin to see people that have it as well. Um, let's And let's look up this account too, tm.me. And then you, okay, so you have drugs handled 020. And it has another uh, contact name that we can explore, but let's just put this in Google Translate so we know what they're talking about. And um, this is Dutch, so it's a trading group where everything may be offered or sold. And um, no wonder this kind of came up on MDMA, because MDMA in Netherlands, I think it's legal, and they're basically the whole plugs. So when you look at, um, 
when you look at um, Netherlands, you can see a lot of Belgian communities or German speaking communities or people in the UK speaking English get higher access to MDMA, especially because it's so easily accessible. And then you can begin to see this right here if you go to, oh, uh, let's look up Dutch MDMA. So, and then if you go right here, you go to the Read More Dutch Delivery Shop, Cologne Drugs, and let's go to Google Translate. And said they actually tout selling to Germany. Be and again, this is not hard to do if you're in the Netherlands where MDMA is not really considered, you know, an illicit drug. I'm not too sure about the laws there. I just know Netherlands is the plug. Like, no wonder Germany is getting it. And if you look at the map, and no wonder it's a tax to get it, you know, across the Atlantic, past customs into New England. Like, it, you kind of understand um, the nature of these. Um, these drug markets and then you can start looking all right what's the german word for uh for mdma for drugs and whatnot and you can start searching on those terms because they're more likely to be in their native language because this is where the drugs come from um the, off the topic of drugs we can even look up credit cards and look for credit card dumps so we have uh, let's look up best fast legit i like this name and you can clearly he's clearly advertising credit cards that we can use online and um, and he actually says the information that they have. They have the card numbers, the CC, the CVV, the the pins, um, and 98% are good. So um, let's look at that again. Telegram.com slash. And even in this one, if you look at this, if you look at this picture right here, open image in a new tab, like they they got uh, they got like a bud. That's like what? It's probably like a HP, a HP, a P. They have like they have like at least a brick, a bud, like just on here with with a username like on deck and a trap phone like with two trap phones and like, with, like and a scale and all this so it's like no nah, that's not that's not, i don't think that's a trap phone i think that's the top of the scale but like like again like you can tell people are being hot on here and they have to step up their operational security for sure so let's go to best fat best fast legit um right here take off this flash and then it's trying to open in Telegram again. I don't have that, and it has another name, and it has something called Trump Dumps, which is, which is weird. I don't know what exactly that is, but let's look at their image in here, see if they reveal any other information. And they have this hacking training course, three month intensive timeline where they, where they go over all these topics, whether it's um, debit card tricks, PayPal carding, Walmart carding, like all this hacker stuff so you can even begin to see how to get into this community or if this is just an image that they used but again so much information that you can tell um, and let's go back to the search and so we has got their channels and again premium dumps like let's like this is probably the plug right here you got Netflix you got Spotify you got so many different accounts so this isn't even just credit cards like I was looking for credit cards but now I found whole different community and Deezer is another music site by the way um, so premium dumps and premium APKs and like there's so much more so let me just look up this before I kind of end the video um, and this is a channel with 36 members so again like you can find drug marketplaces you can find plugs you can find their wickers you can find uh, like specific regions where stuff is going on you can find credit card dumps and this was literally five minutes ago like the, the, this was mad quick if you guys are doing these type of activities i don't care if you guys are hiding behind the international veil like be less hot okay i'm i'm not a, an investigator i'm not i'm not a fed i'm not a snitch like i'm i'm just a kid that's showing you like you are being hot like you have to be better in terms of your operational security if you want to do this i have nothing against you know selling drugs or any of that stuff i i, don't, I really don't care but if you're doing something like that be cognizant that everything has a digital footprint and then especially in telegram no matter how encrypted it is you are leaving clues and do this search on yourself if you're doing this and if before or and do this search on your plugs like and really make sure that they're valid in 10 toes because like again this information is out there and this is just one of the easiest tools to use if you go to this OSINT video there are so many other tools to use that can actually get the users of a marketplace that can get the content that can search through it turn it to CSV files perform greater data analytics on it and this is just the tip of the iceberg so stay tuned for more videos